Hello and welcome to another Star Citizen video. This is Akira and Blade. Uh, in my last video, I didn't really have any dialogue. It was just a, a quick kind of, well, not so quick because the video was uh, about an hour long and after editing, but uh, it was just a quick kind of run through, having a look at the hangar, having a look at, uh, <coughs> at the ship um, that I'd acquired and uh, nothing more really. A bit of um, you know, a bit of the combat training and whatnot, um, but nothing of real interest. And uh, in true consistent form, uh, this video is probably not going to hold much interest to a lot of people anyway. But should you be looking at this with fresh eyes, then that's that's probably a better position to be in, to be honest. <coughs> now, what I did want to show you was the Revel in York hangar but despite having it selected in the hangar configuration I am unable to get into that particular hangar so I'm in the the other hangar which I can't remember the name of now air air view something uh, something like that <coughs> no doubt I'll put an overlay to uh, explain exactly what I meant what I want to say is I am quite impressed with the level of detail that's gone into the hangars as well as the ships. I mean, everywhere you look, there's you know a half decent texture um, or or you know in-depth modelling. And despite all of that detail, um, I'm still running about 60 frames per second in HD now. To be perfectly honest, I'm not seeing an awful lot of anti-aliasing, and I did actually set those settings on my graphics card, but it just seems to have completely ignored that. So whether it's just me expecting perfection, or you know that that functionality is not available yet, um, I don't really know. <coughs> uh, this particular hangar is, uh, you know, it's quite a nice-looking hangar. Uh, it's, in my opinion, nowhere near as nice as the Revel in York. So hopefully, in my next video, I'll be able to show that uh, that hanger off because I quite like it. All I need now is to put um, a luxury ship inside it to make it, uh, you know, to give it the polished look. What uh, what I also liked was just little details like this. I, I come to this chest, I can open it up and. Out comes my gear, and that's really nice. I mean, I can't seem to do anything else with it, um, but it's just nice little added features like that that actually can make a game. It really can. And, you know, I think it's going to be the making of this game. And it shows what the power of crowdfunding can do. You know, if this was a mainstream title via someone like EA, you know, lots of stuff would probably be dumbed down, all for you know maximizing revenue and minimizing release to market time. Um, so you know, with this with this crowdfunding, you know, we're getting a different swing on things. We're getting to see a lot more passion and effort put into making things look awesome and feel awesome. Now I have been playing Elite Dangerous, and you know Elite Dangerous has its its niche in the space sim, and Star Citizen has its side of the you know the coin, so to speak. I mean there are other sims out there, but as far as I'm concerned, those are the two kind of leading edge space sims at the moment. You know Eve's been around an awful long time now, and I, I guess it's probably going to be a bit stale now. I, I mucked about in it for a while and to be honest I got I got quite bored. Maybe I'll get bored of this. I don't know. I'll have to uh, I'll have to give it a good a good go and uh, you know see how I get on. Now <coughs> I acquired the Origin 325A um, fighter plane and all I can say is there was no real consideration 
in acquiring this at all, other than I thought it looked damned cool. And I think a lot of people would probably agree with that. You know, there are going to be the naysayers, but this is a pretty hot looking piece of equipment. Um, whether I'll get any other fighters or not, I don't know. I quite look like the look of the, the F-50. That looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, but really what I need to do is focus my attention on the, the bigger vessels. You know, this, the script paths, I mean, I was watching, you know, one of the videos from the devs and, you know, they were talking about script paths and, and the level of effort that's going into that and making it all kind of modular and so that, uh, you know, you can do parts of it and then, you know, back out if you want to and then continue later if you wish. This is, this is really good stuff and a lot of effort. You know, I just like coming into the ship and just having a look around and everything looks so nicely polished. Yeah, I don't like the snap there, I have to say. I was looking down at the seat and then all of a sudden I'm looking out and so maybe that's a little bit of work on the on the script pass that could probably, you know, be tweaked a little bit. It's not one of those essential things though. So it's probably going to be one of those low priority things if it ever got consideration at all. Um I would like to just take it out of the hangar, but obviously I'm in a position where I can't do that. I don't know whether anyone can. Um, I'm very new to this, so I am pretty much learning. Hopefully I'll pick up a lot of this stuff pretty quickly. Time permitting, of course. The, the movement... Um, the movement of the character model I think is there's a there's an element of realism in the you know when you move around yeah you're gonna step sideways and and whatnot but when you're in en enclosed spaces like this I think you know most people would actually not exaggerate that movement as much as you kind of do as it stands now whether that's something they're going to address or not I don't know um, but it does does make you know moving around inside the more confined ships I would say uh, a little sketchy um, but nothing to really worry about I've had a uh, well as you saw in the previous video if you've watched it all I have had a crack at the training mission, which I I really enjoyed. Actually, I enjoyed the I enjoyed the this kind of script on that. I I particularly enjoyed the kind of Top Gun themed music, which you know struck a chord with me, um, being of a certain age where Top Gun was one of the things to watch as a as a as an adolescent. So. Um, it, it kind of made me smile a bit, and I'm sure it's probably made quite a few other people um, smile as well. Uh, looking at this interface, I'm I'm not overly enamoured with this. Um, I I don't want to offend anyone who's put significant effort into this. It just feels a bit. 1980s arcade um, and I don't know I, d I just I'm not gelling with this interface I, I probably prefer something a bit more solid looking a little uh, a little uh, less over gimmicked I guess is, is probably how I would term it you know this is it's kind of cool to have this kind of swing in this way and then you get the ships and then you kind of, I don't know how you, yeah, there you go. Let's see, I'm grabbing or, uh, okay. 
It's um, I'm not a fan. I have to be honest. I'm not a fan of this interface. <clears throat> uh, another thing I noticed was I, I'd been watching a, a couple of other videos before starting to make videos of, of my own, and uh, I noticed people were in the third person, but. I couldn't figure out how to do it, and I come into the options, which don't want to display. Okay, there they are, and went to key binding. First of all, this is not obvious. I think this should be at the top of the screen, and it, it should be kind of a bit more glaringly obvious from a UI perspective, but you know. People can take that and or leave it, you know. Um, it's just my suggestion. Uh, but when I went into, finally found where that was, and went into first person, I'm looking all around here, and there's no assignment for changing, you know, first or third person view. So in the end, I resorted to key bashing and found that it was on the insert key. Um, it, it would be kind of helpful just to put that in there. Anyway, aside from you know UI tweaks, um, I'm really impressed with uh, with Star Citizen, and um, I've also um, acquired, obviously it's in concept now, um, the Reliant. So hopefully at some point, hope not in the too distant future, that's going to be available to uh, at least have a look around in. So I'm, I'm waiting with uh, bated breath on that one. Okay, so I think that concludes this uh, this video for now. Hopefully in the next one we'll have a look at the Reverend York uh, hangar. And um, perhaps after that I'll do some combat -y stuff. Alright, thanks everyone. Cheers, bye.